Good evening, everybody. How is everyone doing today? We're doing just fine. Great, great. That's a great enthusiastic doing just fine. Well, I want to introduce myself. My name is Michelle Cooley, and I am a student at the Cordia University, Nebraska. And I'm currently enrolled in the MBA 690 course titled Strategic Management, which is taught by Dr. Curtis Beck. I want to discuss as a management consultant the strategic planning and analysis of Avon Products Inc. And at the end, I will provide my recommendations based on my analysis of their strategic Planning. Avon Products Inc. was founded in 1886 by David H. McConnell in New York City. He started as a traveling door-to-door -door book salesman and during his travels when he would encounter his women clientele he would provide them with beauty samples. For a while the women were very enthusiastic about his beauty samples so Mr. McConnell decided to do a full direct selling business which focused on women selling cosmetic products. So he recruited the women that he came across to sell the cosmetics products. Originally, the company was titled California Perfume Company, but in 1939, he changed the name to Avon Products Inc. Avon Products Inc.'s mission statement is to be the best company to work for, the most admired company, and the premier direct selling company. Their vision statement is to tune into the needs and the values and the, the aspirations of women globally of what they want in a cosmetics product. So, one of the things about Avon Products Inc. is their business model. Their business model is direct selling. And that entails either an Avon sales representative going door to door and selling her products to her clientele or having parties or gatherings to promote the product, as well as mailing their brochures to various target segments so they can be aware of Avon's beauty products. Another part of Avon's business model is recruiting representatives. If you have a current representative, she wants to include more representatives to come on to sell Avon products. So what happens when the new representative comes aboard, the Avon representative gets money based on their sales. So that's part of their business model. Avon's competitive strategy. Their competitive strategy is what we call a niche cost leader. Basically what that means is they provide quality products at a modest price their sales and marketing budgets are modestly priced. And the only threat to that is that there are some companies, mostly discount stores like Target or Walmart, that sell products a little bit less than Avon. So that's the only threat they have as far as discounted prices in their products. <coughs> Strategic group map. This is a map that specifies a couple of characteristics within the cosmetics industry. And we put two competitors, Estee Lauder and L'Oreal, compared to Avon. So we picked prices and technology. As you see on the map, Avon is low in price and low in technology. Now we already discussed Avon's low in prices, but let's look at the low in technology. That shows me that Estee Lauder and L'Oreal, as well as other competitors, have a, a, an advantage with Avon in terms of technology. So we will discuss recommendations at the end of this discussion regarding what Avon should do in regards in terms of technology. The EFE matrix. These are the opportunities and threats that are facing the cosmetics industry that Avon needs to take a look at. Opportunities, for example, 65% of teenagers buy their products via social media. Avon is known for gearing towards the older generation. In order to change that image, Avon might want to look at possibly targeting in this particular segment. And also, overseas um, women, basically in Japan, are entering the workforce more and more. 
Japan is 65%, well actually 66% more women are entering the workforce. So that is an opportunity that Avon may want to take advantage of in order to sell their products. And there's also a couple of threats. More women are now going natural. Women want products that make them appear less made up. So we have competitors such as Revlon and L'Oreal and Estee Lauder that are investing their funds and resources into um, creating products that are more of a natural look. So that's one of the threats that Avon is facing as far as the cosmetics industry and also increased funding and startup companies. So the barriers of entry in the cosmetics industry is very, very low. So that is a potential threat to Avon. And I'm also showing you a SWOT analysis matrix. So we go over the strengths and opportunities, the strengths and threats, the weaknesses and opportunities, and the weakness and threat strategies. So I'll give you a couple examples. The strengths and opportunities. Um, the strengths is that more women are entering the workforce, and the opportunities is that um, teenagers are buying more products online. So what we would want to do is possibly increase um, the job fairs so we recruit more representatives for Avon as well as increasing their online budgeting. Now when it comes to weaknesses and strategies, we see that more organic products are being produced and Avon might possibly want to invest in and creating new products that are more natural and more organic and more environmentally friendly. So we would have them increase their marketing budget to increase their um, funds in investing in these new products. The CPM matrix. This compares Avon to two of its competitors, Revlon Estee Lauder, in terms of success factors. And a couple of success factors are advertising, top management, and the growth rate. As you can see, Avon is behind the power curve when it comes to both of their competitors. So what this is saying is that Avon's advertising, the weight is, it was a generated a 0 0.20 because it is very important in terms of creating market awareness and customer accessibility regarding Avon products. But the rating is two because it is behind other competitors such as Revlon and Estee Lauder when it comes to marketing their products. And also top management. Avon's top management has experienced a shift in CEOs recently. Um, we just got a new CEO, Jonathan Myers, who was put on in 2017 to replace Sherry McCoy, who was let go of her position as CEO of Avon. They want to take Avon into a new direction as far as transitioning it to become more competitive in the cosmetics industry. The IFE matrix discusses the internal strengths and weaknesses of Avon. Uh, one of the things that is a strength is that they're advertising recording a campaign called This Is Boss Life. And it's displayed on television and print advertising. What Avon wants to do is recruit more sales representatives because sales representatives have decreased at least 1% last year. And we also are looking at their weaknesses. Their revenue has declined tremendously in the last couple of years. Recently it declined 7% to 5.75 billion. So we want Avon to realize the weight of this is extremely high, it's a 0.08, and it's really on the top of their list of things to watch out for and things to address as far as their weaknesses. The BCG matrix. These are Avon's product segments, and this matrix really displays how each segment is, how each product within Avon is doing. And as you can see, the beauty product and the home division is what we call dogs. They're not making any money for Avon. And the fashion one is a question mark, meaning either Avon can decide to invest more money in the in the fashion business of their segment, or maybe not. 
The one thing that stands out is their fragrance products. Those are stars. They're making more money. They're basically um, what we call an increased market share. They may or may not be cash cows, but they're increasing in their market share. So Avon is focusing on their fragrance products because they are the ones that show the significant market share with the company as of today. The Space Matrix. This goes into, it details the internal analysis and external analysis of Avon Products, Inc. It discusses the types of strategies they should implement based on their financial position, stability position, competitive position, and industry position. As you see, Avon Products, Inc. falls right here. So basically it's saying that they have to be more competitive because their revenues are down, their net margin profits are down, their debt is high, so they have to figure out a strategy in order to be more competitive and to be a leader in the cosmetics industry. The QSPM metrics. It basically goes over different strategies that Avon could implement. These are suggested strategies, but this is not the final strategies. So we go over the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And Avon can either invest money in sales reps training, or they can produce more products. So basically, we want Avon Products Inc. to invest more money in producing more products in order to grow. Consumers like things that are new, things that are changing with the times. Avon is doing things the old way. They're staying with the same type of target segment. There's new opportunities, especially with the younger crowd, so they need to invest their monies in new products. The financials Avons. As you can see from the last three years, from 2014 to 2016, Avon's operating profit margin has kind of gone back and forth, but it's not where it's supposed to be. Their return on equity is, is not as high as it should be. Their working capital is getting, is getting better in 2016. But when you look at the financials as a whole, their long-term debt to equity is in the negative. Their debt to equity is in the negative. The return on assets is in the negative. So this basically indicates poor poor strategic planning on, a on Avon Product Inc.'s top management perspective. So based on all those matrices, I'm here to discuss my recommendations, what I believe as the consultant, what Avon Products need needs to do. First of all, the marketing sales increase budget. Customers need to be aware of your product and they need to have your product accessible to them. The only way you can do that is by increasing your marketing, your sales, and your promotion budgets. That's the only way. And one of the things that we want Avon Products Inc. to consider is to increase their exposure via social media, especially to the target segments that mostly younger generations look at, such as Twitter, such as Instagram, and even Facebook. We need for them to show that they are out there and they are competitive with the likes of even Amway, which is a direct selling company, Revlon and Estee Lauder. Increase their technology. Avon needs to increase their technology as far as their e-commerce business. And the only way to do that is to maybe issue some more stock within their company, as well as um, get additional funding to invest their resources to create new products and make them more competitive. And also for them to diversify their target segments. As stated previously, Avon Product Inc. was founded back in 1886. In, 1990, in 1939, it was known as Avon Products Inc. It is known for older generation and for a mature customers. We want the new customers, meaning you, and your children, and the millennials, everyone out there basically to buy Avon products. And the only way to do that is diversify the target segments. How to do that? Social media. How to do that? Have marketing contests, have marketing campaigns, 
via social media because we want people to start talking about it, see how many tweets, see how many postings they get on Twitter, on Instagram, or even on Snapchat, people showing Avon's products in their hand. Avon needs to be creative to increase their product awareness and their accessibility to their customers. But first and foremost, they have to decrease their debt. And the only way they do that is by taking some of the product divisions that they put money into and pulling back those funding from them and invest in the high ones, such as fragrances, uh, and also maybe the um, home or fashion line, depending what um, top management suggests. Now, there's a question and answer session that um, we can go to right now, but I want to thank you for listening to my presentation on Avon Products, Inc. And if there's any questions, please let me know. My name is Michelle Coley, and I thank you. Bye-bye.